good afternoon. I want to show you um, basically the blinking issue of uh, the changing color script. The issue regards the annoyance. There's a slight annoyance if um, you have the changing color script switched on, which is have to have it because that's how the changing color happens. It does, in other words, it does this job through this annoyance which is slightly irritating if you don't do anything about it. So what I'm going to try to do, my job now, is to try to show you what to do about this annoyance. This is what my job is now. I, what, I, what, what I can do is make this annoyance go away slightly or make it slightly less noticeable. If you look at my screen now, you should see I'm in the middle, well the cursor's in the middle. Sick. Um, the blinking cursor is blinking normally for a little while if you watch the behavior it's going on and off but now and again it stops what is happening is that the, this is the job the program that's changing colors doing but of changing the color over and the only way that that's going to happen because there's no facility for timing an event in Vim that that's the way it happens it has to have some influence and that's the way it does it fudges a, a character press to make a time appear like a timer event and there's no way to actually have that event in the, the program itself so you have to make that happen in order to have the, the program that you want executed done when you want uh, something to happen on a time basis and this is how it's done that little glitch is how it's done that can be annoying obviously these are the two parameters that you would use to try and correct this annoyance. Let's say I wanted to have a very high, a very low speed blink. I wanted to say a 400 blink on. This is the parameters that control the blinking. Blink off and then say a normal a weight of. This is my VMRC file. A, wimp, a no weight, like a one millisecond weight. Okay, so I'm going to use this line. I'm going to put this line. Basically, I'm going to make that 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 happen straight away. Now, th this is what this would do. This line would do this. Watch the cursor now. It's blinking quite evenly, and then it really distractingly blinks off. So that's really going to annoy you. So you see, it's already got worse. So if you don't know what you're doing, you got you got you got you got a problem. So you need to really minimise this, this vile annoyance quite a bit in order to get to go away. And now, little strategies. Like let's say I make the blink higher, blink weight higher now. I'm going to make that blink weight 400, so that the blink on 400, blink off 400, and the blink weight 400. So it's it's going to wait a little bit after that. Basically, that, that the, the the changing color script does its job of changing the color with the timer. It's going to wait a little bit before it starts blinking. So that makes it slightly better again. Now I'm going to try running this. So in there, that's just copied it onto the the command line. Blink. Now let's see what it looks like. So it's a little bit less annoying, isn't it? Because now, with a blink weight of 400, it starts. It waits a little while before it sends, before the blinking starts. So that the program behind the scenes presses a character that you don't see, but the the blinking cursor doesn't start blinking for 400 milliseconds. So it's a little bit better. And that's what I'm saying. You can you can make this a little bit better. Say it depends on also on how often you make the the the, the cursor blink on and blink off. I tend to have like a blink on 220, blink off 220. So it's quite high amount of blinking. I put that in. Please. There, this is the one I normally use. So you can see it's it's quite regular. It's, it's quite it's quite quite strong. And the more around this area you have it, the more you know it is there. So, uh, so y let's try and make the the blink weight a bit higher to make to compensate for it. And, uh, uh, I'll get this line off in a minute. There. Right. So now I'll increase the blink weight. So now, y now you'll see there's a little yeah, and it's changed the color as well. This this is how it works. It's coming up to the hour, and there's a little weight. There's another one there. A little weight. Well. And you can see it's, it's a little bit less bothersome. You can almost work with that, can't you? So this is what I mean. You have to get it so it works for you. And it's of course you can also change set update time 
quite a lot as well. If you have it like a thousand, then you will notice this a lot while you're while you're using the cursor like there. It's, you notice it's blinking like anything. It's changing, changing, changing. If you set this to higher, then it will only do it every four seconds. Four thousand set up date time of four thousand will will only ch make the time event ever happen four seconds at a time. So you tend to notice it less, and it's not too bad, is it? But you know you can you can make this really worse by m reducing the the blink weight to nothing, almost nothing. So if I have that, okay, oops, missed the character. Well, actually, it's not worked too bad as I thought. So I've learned something today as well. It's, it's nearly perfect, in fact. On my other computer, this was working a lot worse. Oh yeah, you notice it quite a bit. You do notice it that it kind of glitches the cursor when it changes, when it presses the character, while it ch does the changing color job bit. Yeah, you see, it kind of halts, doesn't it? It kind of disappears when it shouldn't disappear. So, I find that more annoying than having something personally, than having something like this, where you would make that make the cursor just simply stop blinking a little bit. I find that more annoying than, than it disappearing when you don't expect it to, which is what it's doing at before at before I do this. Which now I'm going to do this, m increase the blink weight. It's going to block weight a little bit before the blinking begins again, so it won't disappear at least. So I personally find that less annoying. So this is kind of strategy you need to play with, and um, I hope I've shown you what the, the broken dust in the background as well, hopefully. Oh, I'm trying to stop the recording now. Oh, that was enjoyable. Thank you. Nope. Got a problem trying to find out how to stop the recording. Okay, okay. I'll see you later. Bye bye.